today, boys and girls, we're going to be taking a look at the new Vapix Geyser. Designed, engineered by Open Vape and Vapix. Man, I'll tell you what, this thing right here, it is the lightest pod system kit I've ever held. By the way, this takes 21700 batteries or 18650s. Yeah. Dude, this thing is light though, man. I mean, I got the battery in there right now. Look at this. The lightness of this thing, the fact that it holds a 21700 battery, it holds tons of juice, you got airflow. Dude, we're going to get into it in a second. Question is, how does she vape? So yeah, you can vape it in two options. Pretty much pod mode, just like all the other pods out there. Or you can pop a big old sub on tank coil head in here and just chuck for days, man. I mean, look at this vapor. It's crazy. But before I vape this thing even more, I mean, I'll chuck it till it dies. So that's another thing, battery life with this. We'll get into it. So what do you get with this kit? Let me show you the ones that I got. First of all, here's the packaging she comes in. I got the red version, man. I love this red version. Sickest kit. Seriously though, the red looks good. The black looks good too. Here's the black one right here. Black, oh, 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 check it out. Comes in these big old boxes. Of course, inside that packaging, you're gonna receive your Vapex Geyser with the dual AFC 75 watt pod. You also get an additional dual AFC 45 watt pod. Like I just told you, two options. 45 watt or really 35 to 45 watt or 55 to 75 watts. And speaking of 75 watts, here's a 75 watt max single mesh head. You get a 45 watt max single mesh head compatible with the 45 watt pod. You see where I'm going with this? Comes with a tool to help pop out the coil heads. You get an 18650 battery sleeve. Who the heck needs that if you got 21700s? If you don't own any 21700 batteries, man, I suggest you pick up some. But 21700 batteries versus 18650s is no contest. By the way, I can go a full day with this 21700 vaping this thing at 55 watts. One full day. Now, if you're going to be vaping at its max 75 watts, okay, I would say you probably get three quarters of a day. Comes with a USB-C cable for charging. Love it. Love my USB-Cs, man. They charge so much faster than USBs. And last but not least, this pack packaging comes with info cards like your user guides your warranty cards all that good stuff now remember what i said earlier you could buy a buttload of stuff separately for this okay if you pop the packaging open like this okay inside there you're gonna see whoa you're gonna see a bunch of stuff that comes separately let me show you real quick sold separately they got a dual afc 45 watt for high level nicotine juice they got a max 100 watt dual afc rdta pod with dual coil postless deck and stainless steel wicking system come on apex i want that you're depriving me why <laughs> I love my RDTAs, man. And I know a lot of you RDTA junkies out there, you're going to love it too. I mean, I'm assuming you would. But Babix, you should have included a kit like that that comes with the RDTA and all the other stuff they sent me. But I tell you, the way this kit is right now, it's awesome. Also sold separately is a Max 70 Watt Dual Air Fresh X Coil Model 15D for zero milligram freebase or low level nicotine. Kind of like the 75 Watt I'm about to show you. And last inside the box, they offer a Max 25 Watt Single Air Mesh X Coil Model 10N for high nicotine level juice. That's for your mouth to lungs. You mouth lung heads out there who want the tight 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 draw and who like to vape those high nicotine juices man that's probably for you point is this company vapex offers an all-in-one kit where you can literally buy everything for that kit now do i think it should all come with it i think they should have an option like that where they have everything but i see why they don't not everybody's going to want to use the rdta pod or even the mouth to lung coil head vapex sent me what they thought i would love and i love it it's just the rdta i want the rdta you did but if we go back to this geyser man first impressions of this kit man it is the lightest 21700 pod mod kit I've ever, but I tell you, it's lighter than most pod systems out there with built-in batteries, lighter than those. I mean, I can't even believe it. I can't even fill my hands. Crazy. And that's with the battery inside. On this side, you got the battery door. She slides out like so. Got your 21700 battery. Batteries do not come included with mine. And again, I'm using the home run batteries from Ohm Tech. Oh yeah, this kit is made of plastic and magnesium alloy. And magnesium alloy, for those of you guys who do not know, it's some very, very hard, durable metal. It's super light. It's like some of the lightest metal you can get. Military aircraft metal. That's what I'm hearing. Magnesium alloy. The battery doors made of plastic and if you pop the battery in there and then pop the battery door on there you just slide it up and it clicks into place but yeah if we look down the center you see where this section is red on both sides that's the magnesium alloy that's the metal and to be honest with you guys it doesn't even feel like metal it is i know it's metal okay but it doesn't it's so light it feels like plastic so basically the magnesium alloy is like the backbone of this thing anyways on this side it says vapix on the other side you got the usb-c port man i love usb-c's again i, I tell you what man all devices should be usb-c's if we look over here at the top or sort at the top you got the fire button and this fire button is big, man. It's big, it's clicky. I mean, real clicky. Feels so good. Love how clicky and tactile this thing is. Fingers love it. Hee hee hee. What the fart rip? Get with the program, boy. Below that, you got a pretty big, colorful screen. Easy to read, easy to navigate. On the front, shows your coil, your amps, your volts, and your puffs. Got all your temperature options, curves, bypass, and power, which is what I'm using pretty much all the time. The Vapex Geyser vapes up to 100 watts. A pod kit that freaking vapes up to 100 watts. That's crazy. 5 to 100 watts. Cow, we've come so far. You can adjust the brightness of the screen, and you can even lock the wattage and still be able to fire her up. But yeah, below the screen, you got your up and down buttons. Okay, that's your wattage up, wattage down, 
temperature up, temperature down buttons. On the bottom, nice and clean. Oh yeah, and if we go back to the battery door on the side, it says geyser. Up here at the corner, it's got a little slot for a lanyard. And then up here at the top is where your release switch is and where your pod is installed. Oh, and at the very top top, mine came with this comfy tip sleeve. Nice size bore. Now to get this pod out, all you gotta do is pull back on this release button, pull up, and the pod will slide right out. Easy peasy what it's lazy. Got your connections down here. Everything is clean, clean, clean. Again, the pod that comes pre-installed, it takes a larger coil. And this pod that takes a larger coil, the 75 watt coil right shields, five mils of juice. Pretty darn good amount of juice. And I gotta go ahead and mention this, the other pod that comes with this kit holds 6.5 mils of juice. That's for the other cool head, 35 to 45 watt cool head. 6.5 mils. So with this kit, you're looking at a total of 11.5 mils of juice you'll hold. Separately, of course. It's crazy. I personally like the 75 watt cool head better. Oh yeah, both pods have an airflow dial on one side and the other. It's got honeycomb slots on each side. To adjust the airflow, pull on the lever. And when you pull the lever, it'll pop up and then you just go ahead and spin it. Now when the honeycomb section is taking up the bottom section of it on the side, that means she's wide open. As you turn that honeycomb section towards the top, towards your drip tip sleeve, you start closing off the airflow. Personally, I like this sucker wide open, man. Now let me tell you why I like it wide open. Because when I hold it, let's say I want to fire on my index finger. Look at this, I'm covering up one side, but the other side is open. I'm still getting tons of airflow. They designed it like that. To me, is it really a nitpicky? Being unbiased, I'd say yes. Even though I don't mind it, there may be one e-vapors out there that does. Now if you fire with your thumb, both slots are open. But if we go back to airflow, man, it's smooth as a you-know-what. No, 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 I wasn't going to say it. You thought I was going to say that? It's smooth as a gravy sandwich. Come on, man. I got to keep this PG. PG for all you YouTube monitoring son of a bitch. Yes. Airflow smooth though, man. I like the airflow. Woo -wee. Now as you close off the airflow, it gets more restricted. I mean, you can close off the airflow and get a nice tight restricted flung hit. Now Vabex has other dials. You can pull these dials out, pop the other dials in, which I don't have. They got these little slots on there and that's for the mounts of lungers. The legit mounts of lungers that want that tight you know, tight draw. That's for them. Vapex offers a ton of stuff for this, man. Now, real quick, I want to show you the big old lung hit mesh coil. The 75, well, 55 to 75 watts. It's got organic cotton. Again, you got your mesh in there, and that's pretty much it for the coil head, guys. Again, got that sucker in here. Vaping a treat. Oh, yeah, I almost forgot. Okay, in order to press fitter into the pod, what you got to do is you got to turn this pod upside down. See that hole right there? Just slide the coil head in. Slide her in, line her up, press fitter, and you're good. You can fill her up. And to fill her up, what do you do, Trip? Well, the next step is you got to insert the pod. Insert the pod into the mod. When you insert it all the way down, make sure you push on the tip and you'll hear it click into place. That means she's good to go, ready to be filled. In order to fill her, you push the lever forward. Remember guys, to pull this pod out, you pull this lever back. Now when you have it installed and you want to fill her up, push the lever forward and the front section with the tip will pop right open. And you got two holes to choose from. One or the other, doesn't matter. Once you're done filling her up, just click it back down and vape it. <laughs> I love it. But yeah, back to the vape quality, 65 watts is what I like to vape this thing at. 65 watts is a 75 watt coil head. Airflow wide open. Very comfortable lung hit wide open, guys. It's a nice comfortable restraint to draw. It's like I'm getting something out of this. You know what I'm saying? I'm feeling it. I'm feeling the density. I'm feeling the flavor. It feels good. You know what I'm talking about, right? And again, Vapor, you see it. Checking that Misty Cream, man. They gotta make a company called Misty Cream. <laughs> Now, if we go back to the smaller mesh head, first of all, 35 to 45 watts, organic cotton, got a nice little bore mesh going on. Again, with this coil head, you're going to be getting a nice, comfortable, restricted lung head, like all the other pods out there. It just gets the job done, but it ain't the 75 water. Still, that being said, you get a nice vape out of it. Oh, yeah, and you can do the mounts of lungs with the 35 to 45 water, but, I mean, I'm not going to be doing that. It's just too loose to be honest with you. I don't think it's meant for that. So, really, I only found two nitpickies for this. One is the button rattle pretty loud. Does it bother me? Yeah, sometimes. They could fix it. Vapex. I would fix that. And the button rattle, where are you getting it from? Hold on, let me just check. It's this lever right here. See? You cover that lever up, it's gone. And the other nitpicky I found for this is I can't see the level of my juice when I'm filling her. Cannot see it. I mean, I can when I pop it in the bright light. <laughs> But it's just something to point out. That being said, so many good things for this, man. As far as price point goes for this puppy chucker, I'm seeing her sell online average 60 to 70 bucks. I mean, that's what I'm hearing to the grapevine. To be honest with you, I can't find this anywhere online. But if you're 21 years of age or older, you should try Googling Vape Trick. V-A-P-E-T-R-I-K. Google it, Vape Trick. I'm done. That's it. I am out. This is Rip Trippers. And remember, smoking is dead. Vaping is the future. The future is now. Peace, guys. Or is it this way? Later.